All right, let's fucking do this, man. Welcome. All hey, right. buddy. How you doing? Well, I just watched some terrible football, but <laughs> just besides watch. that, I'm doing pretty great. <laughs> well, you're alone in that because I stopped fucking watching it. What a terrible fucking game, but we'll get into that. Welcome, everyone, to uh, Football Shit Talking Live. I'm your host, Taylor. This is my good friend, Suck, who does not suck. Hello. He's a good guy. Um, I am all right. Yeah, well, you're good because you're the only friend of mine that actually likes football. So yeah, that counts. Well, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Got a little bit of news here. Got two interesting stories. Uh, Georgia Bulldogs defense back Javon Bullard was arrested, faces DUI charges. Getting a little tipsy over there in Athens. I guess that's it's, uh, underage DUI as well. Um, yeah, I actually just noticed that. And he was booked at 4.57 a.m. Look, I'm just saying, like, come on. Come on. You can't be. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. And I mean, like I mean you're, you're on the quote unquote top ranked team. In yeah, the big air quotes on that one. But yeah, yeah you just got to go and ruin your future career doing shit yeah. like that. Um, oh, Kirby will let him off the hook. You know how it is down over in Athens. Um, yeah, no, no morals. Yeah, pretty much. Speaking of bullshit going on in uh, Georgia, I'm said Texas, in Georgia, Georgia Tech's board has special meeting tomorrow, Monday. May decide futures of football coach Jeff Collins and the AD Todd Sansbury. Uh, for those unaware, Georgia Tech fucking sucks. Like, more so than I usual. sure do. Yeah. Um, they're one in three. They got blown out 27. Well, it's not really blown out. No, two scores is blown out. 27 to 10 loss to UCF. They did get shut out by Ole Miss, forty-two to nothing, and then forty-one to ten to Clemson to open the season. I mean, the Ole Miss and the Clemson game, I understand. Because I mean, those are—I don't want to say elite program in the same sentence as Ole Miss, but yeah, you know. we'll say highly ranked program. Sure, uh, I, I got programs with high expectations, I should say. Um, Georgia Tech, not so much. I understand. Yeah, okay, that's nice that you're trying to build a winning culture there, but Georgia Tech. So yeah, like um, them bees need to get buzzing. Yeah, that rambling. Ra Wait, what? What are they? The Hornets. Yeah, uh, the, the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Who cares about the ACC? It's not even a real conference. Facts. Mm hmm. Um. There is. Speaking of real conferences, here's a real conference. Uh, the ones we're going to talk about. Sorry. You know, I think we said last week, it was like, wow, not a great slate, but that West Virginia, Virginia Tech game kind of fucked. Like, on the, on the, on the stat sheet, it looks real bad. 33 to 10. But... 17 of those points by West Virginia was in garbage time, essentially. It was a good game other than that. Did you did you watch the beginning? Did you watch the... In, or Well, that was Thursday. You're probably watching NFL, right? Yeah, I was watching the Schittsburg Browns game. Hmm. Well, so VT, when they have like these big hyped home games, well, any home game, but like a night game, kind of hyped, they have this tradition where like they... They'll come in, they'll run in, you know, waving the American flag and the Virginia flag and everything, and they're playing uh, Metallica's Inner Sandman. And it's 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 some of the most hype shit ever. It's 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 yeah, absolutely I mean, that's pretty based. You no, know, it's great. It's one of the best traditions in college football. Not so much when you get your ass kicked 33 to 10. I will say this, and here here's the positive thing about it. JT Daniels looked okay. Like I know we we dogged on him a lot early on in the season for just like like you know being JT Daniels like in that pit game for he, looking how he looked yeah like in that pit game he kind of looked I'm gonna say it he looked a little mid he looks a little mid then you go and lose to Kansas who by the way Kansas is actually doing really well this year I don't know if anyone's paying attention to that but Kansas is actually like okay so yeah they're ranked like seven or some shit right now. And that's can no what oh They're sorry i was thinking kentucky oh yeah same thing kind of essentially yeah, it's same letters it starts with a k nobody cares about it whatever 
Oh, um, that Kansas they lost to. No, that's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Kansas is on the come up. Kansas is on the come up. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's not ideal. Uh, JT Daniels looked like shit in that one, but he looked okay in this. Twenty for thirty, two hundred three yards and a TD. I mean, that's hey, not bad, not bad at all. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great game. I really enjoyed watching this. Uh, West Virginia just dominated this. I mean, you can see from the stat line, 421 yards versus 228. They kept the ball like over three-fourths of the game. Absolutely ridiculous. The Jacoby Spells pick six absolutely sealed it after that. Is done. Is over. They like You could just see the hope draining out of the Hokies' eyes. It was rough. Uh, that was essentially the peak, though, of the... Of the weekday games the virginia Q's game was pretty okay i didn't watch it though i don't remember why i didn't watch it i don't remember what i was doing friday night that would have precluded me from watching it but i didn't watch it maybe i was playing oh i was playing fortnite uh, i think probably playing fortnite I was, I was playing fortnite which as we all know way more important so uh that happened that utep game that utep boise state game that was embarrassing like boise state has fallen off hard hard and considering they're going to join like the big 12 next year or in in two years i don't know they're going to join the big 10 some big 12 sometime yeah i mean you probably start calling them the little 12 mm-hmm. yeah kind of embarrassing uh utep uh huge upset they hadn't beat them in did i write this down yeah, yeah no sorry not only had they not beat them in a set amount of time they'd never beaten them this was a huge upset they've lost the previous six meetings and i haven't met a lot um boise just looked done like by the fourth quarter they were just gassed everybody were was hands on hips gasping for breath utep just kept running it down their throat every play and they just didn't have an answer for it and just completely destroyed them I'm seeing um, a 47 yard punt return touchdown here by Utah. Yeah. Like I said, it was not, it was not pretty. <laughs> um, but this kind of just proves like what we've kind of been saying a little bit this season that anything can happen. Anything can happen. Uh, we thought for like we, I think on last week's show, we were just like, who gives a shit about any of those games? Huge upset Friday night. Anything can happen this season. You love to see him. But going into, sure do. Going into a, uh, some real football. So. Yeah, I mean, speaking of uh, anything can happen, how about Kent State putting up 22 on that number one defense at Georgia? Uh, <laughs> that one, so at one point in time, I don't think the game cast is going to reflect it, but at one point, yeah, no, they, yeah. At one point in time, Kent State had the lead for all of like, no, no they didn't, sorry. I thought Kent State did have the lead at one point, but the fact that Kent State kept it competitive this entire time and then the AP poll, like, I think they lost one first place vote out of 55. <sighs> oh, and Georgia turned it over three times. So, yeah, no, this was this was an embarrassing game. Uh, Bennett, Bennett looked OK. 26 for 36, 272 yards in interception, no touchdowns. Uh Bowers, though, man, old boy kind of popped off. Two carries. He kind of carried the game for them. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, uh, I, let's hope this is let's hope this is a harbinger of things to come. Um, that they're going to get betrayed or uh, exposed for the frauds that they are. Um, no, it's not going to be next week. They got Missouri. It's not going to be the week after. Good Lord, could they have any more? <laughs> Could they have any more of a fucking cupcake schedule? Holy shit. I I hadn't seen their schedule until now. So they played Oregon, who... Uh, we'll get to that. They you know, San- this... Uh, the fact that their defensive player went out party after this game and got arrested for DUI. That's, a, that's exactly what I was going to say. That's put exactly 22 what I was going to say. Like, my mans, if you were out at 5 in the morning plastered driving, partying from beating Kent State in a, in a what was essentially a close game, like, that might be a problem. That might be, like, a, like Kirby might have some behavioral problems going over there, and I, I don't know if that's going to manifest itself in any other aspects of the game. Ideally. 
but but no like yeah they they blew out stanford south carolina sucks kent state sucks missouri sucks they got them this week they're gonna play auburn auburn sucks they're gonna play vanderbilt vanderbilt sucks they're gonna play florida florida kind of sucks sucks yeah then tennessee at home who tennessee is good but at that point tennessee has has played alabama they played lsu they're gonna be sore by then um they play kentucky the week before that yeah so god fuck georgia so much fucking hatred they're just gonna like waltz into the playoffs because they haven't they ain't played nobody paul uh shout out to my alma mater we beat Tulane. Let's go. Barely, but whatever. We take the dub. Yeah, that was close. Tulane had the lead for a while. I it did. Uh, 10 points in the third, fourth quarter for Southern Miss. Um, good job, boys. You are now 2-2, two and two, so at least we're not going to repeat the 2013. Uh, uh, no, was it 2012 or 2013 where we won zero games? Um, so at least we're not going to repeat that. Yeah. Uh, Alabama beat the dog shit out of Vanderbilt. Shocker. Bryce, look, Jesus Christ. Bryce was 25 for 36, 385 yards, four TDs. And I really don't think he saw much playtime after halftime. So he he balled the fuck out. Um, but, I mean, it's Vanderbilt. What, what does anyone expect, you know? Um, yeah. Wisconsin got pretty smashed by Ohio State. Shocker. Um, I don't think anyone really watched that game or expected much from it. Wisconsin's really mid this year. Um, we're going into conference play. If no one, uh, the, rec- the recurring theme here is that we're going to conference play. I don't see Wisconsin doing really anything in the Big Ten this year. So, C.J. Stroud actually balled almost as hard as... Uh, I said Tua. God dang it. I got Tua on the mind. CJ Stroud balled almost as hard as Bryce, 17 for 27, uh, 281 yards and five touchdowns. Holy shit. If anything happens to CJ Stroud, Ohio State is essentially dead in the water. <laughs> like, let's be real. Um, Maryland, Michigan was way closer than it should have been. And maybe this is why I had two on the mind. Because Talia Tagalailoa, Tua's younger brother, um, I don't want to. I don't want to say he balled because, as you can see, he did have two interceptions. Um, but he wasn't. He also went out hurt at some point. Uh, did he? Are you yes. sure you're not? Th- I yeah, was watching. Did, yeah, Billy Edwards. He had to finish it up. Um, yeah. No, this game was. This game was close. I think if I think if Tali hadn't gotten hurt, I think the Terrapins could have pulled this out. Uh, Tali is Tali is good though, except for the two interceptions. But we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, Michigan, I don't think they actually fell any in the rankings for this. But like I said, Michigan, decent team. So yeah, but are you really deserving of rank four if you almost lose to the Maryland Terrapins? To be fair, to be fair, Maryland is pretty good. And right, but rank however, four. Almost losing to them. Sure, 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 sure. However, to be fair, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. They should have dropped them. We beat we beat Texas, who's arguably a lot better than the Terrapins, and they dropped us by a point. Man, all right, now I'm angry. Fucking hell. Uh, Clemson. God, fucking Clemson and Wake Forest. This was a fucking fucking. First off, it was a slugfest. First off, but after aside from that, it was oh my god. Um, shout out to ukulele though. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce this man's name anymore. DJ, it's just DJ ukulele at this point. 26 for 41, 371 yards and five touchdowns. Now, to be fair, Wake Forest's defense just like essentially didn't exist, so that helped. Um, but this game was. I mean, if you were a Clemson fan, maybe like take a week or two off after this one and just like well. I will take some credit away from him seeing that two of those touchdowns were in overtime, which are a bit easier than a full drive. Yeah, that's true. However, you know, if this season has taught us anything, it's that you can definitely choke it away in overtime. So, you know, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, that was that was actually a, that was actually a really good game. Uh, it, this would have probably been my game of the week if it hadn't been for 
Florida, Tennessee. Uh, oh, we have an upset, though, this week. Uh, K-State beat Oklahoma. Now, I don't think I watched this game. And, oh, no, I watched the very last of it. And I was like, whoa, what? Is K-State, like, back? Or is Oklahoma just shit? Um, Could be both. Yeah, I'm going to say 50-50. Like, Oklahoma, we're not even mid-season yet. And they're already starting to look like they're going to have a mid-season collapse. Uh, very close game. Uh, but K-State, you know, hey, what's going on in Kansas, man? Kansas is looking good. K-State's looking good. Weird shit. Yeah, I mean, K-State had the lead in this game pretty much the entire time outside of when they were tied for a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah. Uh, K-State essentially like just kept lockstep within the entire time. Every time they would, every time Oklahoma would kind of like get back within range of them, K State would just pull it, pull it back. So you'd love to see it. Um, again, you know, talking about Boise State coming to the Big Twelve. You know, Boise State, you're fucking struggling against who was it they even struggled against? I don't even remember. Some nobody. UTEP. Or UTEP. No. Yeah, yeah, no UTEP. How are you gonna How are you gonna struggle against UTEP and then think you're gonna make it with the like a, a conference that's arguably like reaching a much higher parity um which uh paul i'll come down here and talk about it real fast if i can find it the texas texas tech game i mean uh, obviously yes okay well i really i realized in saying that i forgot that oklahoma and texas are about to leave the big 12 so but they're not gonna leave immediately um but this yeah this texas thing i'm not super happy about because this makes Makes Bama look kind of bad. Losing to Texas Tech. I mean, we struggled against them, so like, yeah. Uh, what shifted the time in this game was uh, Bougie Robinson. Where the fuck his name is? Boot. Uh, that's not his name. What's his name? Dijon. All right, fucking booty. Um, yeah, D- yeah, Dijon Robinson is what we call him. Dijon Robinson uh, fumbled. And that was pretty much like that was it. It was like you could just see Texas's steer spirit break at that point. So, um, I hate to see card. Oh yeah, the overtime fumble. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I mean, you just. I mean, you could just see it on all their faces. They, they accepted it. Card, and I said this in the Texas game, the Texas Alabama game. Card is not bad. Like obviously, yours would be you know pick number one, choice number one, but card fucking not bad man uh tech, all right. tech just wanted it more and so did kind of the rest of us because we wanted to see a field storming uh i can't remember the stat i didn't write it down but texas tech has not beaten texas in like a long time so another another upset you love to see it uh here was an upset that almost happened the usc oregon state game that's I, a score that is a score, and I was uh, I was checking my notes, and I was started reading something else because I saw Oregon. Um, this was a late night game. I watched the very end of it. Um, literally, like ninety percent of this game happened in the past six, the last six minutes. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Um, Holy fuck! USC won by three points when they picked off the other team four times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. USC is not like they're number seven because they're obviously undefeated. Um, but I'm I'm questioning that. Like, who they? Oh, what the fuck? How do you? They put, haven't even beaten good teams. They beat Rice and Stan. Okay, obviously Stanford. Yeah, sure. They're at least in your own conference. But this ain't like the Andrew Luck Stanford. This is who gives a fuck Stanford. They ain't winning games. Oh, and then you beat Fresno State. Oh wow, fucking. Oh. Yeah, no, this game, this game sucked. Uh, I want to say this was the game that got actually paused for a while because someone was flying a drone over it, which... Um, well, that was the Stanford game. Wasn't? That's what you have in your post. I don't know. Anyway, point is, this game sucked, and it literally, unless you watch, like, the... You could have skipped this entire game and just watched the last fourth the fourth quarter and gone, oh, okay, I, I understand this, I understand, it's fine. USC pulls it out, though, however, um, you know, good for them. Who, 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 the, fuck, who the fuck is uh, USC's coach now? Some loser. 
Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It's some pretty boy. You want to see head coach. Lincoln Riley. Oh, God. Yeah, he left Nebraska. Not Nebraska. He left OU to go to, yeah. That feels like a lateral move. To be cool. That does feel like a lateral move now that they're coming to the SEC. Bro, you could have been in the SEC coach. Whatever. Damn. Yeah, I hate to see it. Uh, Kentucky actually struggled against Northern Illinois a little bit. Uh, again, recurring pattern here of the top 10 teams are struggling against opponents they should. Northern Illinois obviously is not, you know, the Northern Illinois that it was a few years ago with, um, who was who was their big stud QB? I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, they're one and three on the season. They are kind of dog water. But Kentucky, I don't know. I, I think, honestly, like in some of these, like, so we're coming to the end of like the cupcake, like that first three week cupcake. I feel like a lot of teams are like, you know, especially if you're ranked, if you're number eight, especially in the top 10, I feel like maybe you come in against like a one and two team and go up. But that one and two team is coming into your house going, this is the most important game we're playing all year. Right? Yeah. Like, it's it's what's said about Alabama, like why why teams like just play on a in a different gear against Alabama, because Alabama it's for Alabama it's another game, you know they've got other people on the schedule they're thinking about, for the opposing squad it's their Super Bowl, so, uh, I mean you could you could chalk it up to that you could chalk it up being lazy you could chalk it up to Kentucky maybe just isn't that good, um, I want to say that they are pretty decent. They did beat Florida. However, Florida might suck. We're we still kind of got that one in the works. We're still trying to decide what the fuck's going on with that. Um, but these next two games, can can I do? Can I, I need a rule check? Can I do co games of the week? Am I allowed to do that? Is that legal? Uh, yeah. Why not? Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, I don't have notes for this, so I'm just gonna free ball it. Uh, Arkansas and Tamu in the Jerry Jones Classic. Wow. What a great game. Um, definitely lived up to the hype. I want to say Arkansas still looked good. They looked sloppy. To be fair, though, um, in the second, in the second quarter, Tamu pulled off what I will call some fucking bullshit when they turned the ball over stripped it from the quarterback, picked it up, and as the defender who picked the ball up was about to be pulled down, another defender yanked it out of his teammate's hands and kept fucking running all the way for a scoop and score. Although, here's here's my problem. Jefferson, the QB for Arkansas, did a goal line leap at like the five yard line. I don't know who this brother thought he was. <laughs> Super me. Yeah, I don't. He's. It was. It's so you know. At the goal line, you leap over your defender. Sure, makes sense. You're trying to just break the plane. My man, my brother in Christ, you were literally at the five yard line. Did you think you were just gonna glide into? <sighs> That's my point, though. It just Arkansas. My man thought he was Shaq. Out, but... He did. I, I think Arkansas is just young, right? I will also say this. I think Kay Jefferson is doing too much. Kay Jefferson is this team, right? He was 12 for 19 mm-hmm. passing, 171 20 yards. carries. Yeah, two touchdowns. Then 18 carries for 105 yards and another touchdown. Like, without him, the, the, the Razorbacks just don't exist. So, uh, Tammy, you, you can't have your quarterback be your run game. No. That's not sustainable. No, no, not at all. Um on paper, Arkansas won this game. And I think when you look back on it, that scoop and score, that I mean, that did it. But that was... <laughs> that's so Tamu, though, to just like... It's like, yes, we beat you. Like on, the, like, on the field, we beat you. We played better than you. But you're taking the W because you pulled off some, like, Auburn-level voodoo bullshit. Um... So whatever. Uh, it was a great game, though. It was very fun to watch. Um, I enjoyed it a lot like, and I'm going to say this is probably your game of the week because you were highly invested in this. For sure. The Florida Gators came all the way up to Neyland Stadium and game day to play the Tennessee Volunteers on Rocky Top. And this, this was a thriller. I, I don't think there's any other better word to describe this game than 
absolute yeah, I mean, one th- punt in the entire game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, someone. Yeah, if someone touched the ball in this game, it either got turned over or scored. Like this, there was constant action in this game. So first off, um, Hendon Hooker. What a guy. What a guy. On fire. I was going to say he's probably my dog of the week, but no, he's not my dog of the week. Uh, Richardson, however, let's let's give him a little bit. He came into this game with no passing touchdowns, came out with two, and almost 500 yards. Um, yeah, again, 450 yards on 24 completions is a lot. That is a lot. I mean, he, he, well, his, he went for the deep ball like literally every single time. And right. on this show... And we gave it up a bit too much. Wasn't very happy about it. Mm. On this show, we love the deep ball. We oh, love, we love the, deep the deep ball. Oh, we love the deep ball. Uh, what a game! So Tennessee did win, thirty-eight to thirty-three. But Florida looked better. Richardson seems to like kind of be getting into that groove, which we kind of saw in Week One, and then he kind of just kind of farted it away. I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, he did lose to Kentucky, so you know that kind of goes back to that debate. Like, are they good? Are they shit? Who knows? Um, but it, it, it well, looks good. We had Tennessee had some multiple fumbles pretty deep in Florida's territory. That's the, true. The game would have been very different if dumbasses just held onto the ball. <laughs> My brother in Christ, that is a recurring theme this season, and I do not like seeing it. Um, yeah. But again, they've kind of got that Arkansas syndrome where, you know, Richardson is your passer and he's your running seven runner, 17 carries for 62 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, you know, whatever gets the job done, but you know, we'll see what, who's Florida got coming up. Let's see. Uh, they got Eastern Washington and then Missouri. Wow. What a slate. Uh, then they play LSU. I, I'm confident about them being LSU to be quite honest. Then they got to play Georgia at Georgia. I want to see that we're not. Is it at Georgia? That's the. It's a says at Georgia. It does, but that's a, that's usually that neutral side game. I thought that they play in like Jacksonville or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to see him be Georgia. Uh, but yeah, it, it is at in Jacksonville. Yeah, so I don't know. Why I, I guess Georgia is considered the home team. Yeah, for whatever reason. Uh, whatever. Fuck Georgia. But yeah, no. This is this is my other second game of the week. I would have. Fucking... Yeah, my. Uh... My real problem was with the end of this game. Now, we turned it over on downs at the Florida 30, sure. I feel like maybe just could have taken the field goal to, you know, put us ahead a few extra points in case they did, you know, magically score a touchdown and then recover an onside kick and be down five points. Maybe those extra three points would have been helpful. I mean, you know, you, you, you won. Yeah, one. So Which, you know, that's almost exactly what happened. They went down in fifty seconds, got a touchdown, recovered an onside kick. They did do that. Yeah, no, that that is definitely that is definitely something that happened. So I I don't know, man. It was it was it was a, it was a great game. That's all I know. It was, it was it a was. great game. Um, I I am honestly, if we're being truthful, am I worried about third Saturday in October? Yeah, I'm a little terrified actually. Uh, because uh, I think we play it at Neyland. Yes, uh, we, you sure do. Yep. Great. <sighs> that's that's just that's just great. That's just fucking great. Whatever. We're gonna move on. Um. Oh, Oregon. Oh, I want to talk about Oregon. Uh. The words that are gonna come out of my mouth might sound strange, but but they're correct. I am saying them. Bo Nix looks. Oh, okay. Like for Bo Nix, uh, thirty-three for forty-four for four hundred twenty yards, three touchdowns, interception, but um, n- not not bad. Like you know, again, now, I do think Bo Nix. he looked pretty bad for like the first half, but then in the fourth quarter, he just kind of turned it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this was, uh, yeah, this was a great game, but this was kind of like that USC game. Like if you watch none of it, except the fourth quarter, you got your money's worth because they did literally score 30 points in the fourth quarter. (laughs) So, um, I mean, fucking hell. Yeah. 
he well okay i said he looked okay maybe the maybe the word i'm looking for is more consistent um sure in bursts so he's getting there and he's getting there um obviously this is not a bo nicks respecting stream so yeah know, i mean the first bo half nicks, they oh yeah only put up field goals but again i feel like maybe that's one of those that it's like you know did oregon show up and just like oh i you know, we're gonna be watching the state. It's fucking watch. It's fucking Washington State. Of course, we're gonna beat them. And then got to halftime and went. Washington State got hands. So, don't know. Uh, good for him. That's oh great. yeah, the killer of this game was the uh, pick six with a minute left. Yeah. 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 This was. Yeah. Yeah. What I forgot what channel it is that I I link the highlights on, but you can go watch the highlights of this game, and it's just it's literally just like the pat the last like. Hey, let me look. I want to say it's like the last five minutes is where this game just absolutely blew up. If I can pull it up. The last four minutes even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Starting at, starting at 348, uh, Oregon scored three touchdowns in a row. <laughs> um, Washington State got a la like a last minute uh, garbage last time second, touchdown. second, literally. No, yeah, actually, you're right. Actually, led. Jesus Christ, could this have been any more of an embarrassing drive? Seven plays for 75 yards in 50 seconds. Jesus yeah. Christ, what a blitz! Oof. Yeah, well, which I mean, it really sucks because if they didn't have that pick, the Cougars probably yeah. would have won this game. Yeah, it would have been another up. We'd been talking about an upset right now, but we're not. Bonix won. Yay, Bonix! And I just accidentally hit a key in it. That's a little annoying. Thing. Anyway, moving on. Uh, speaking of people that do suck, Ole Miss struggled against Tulsa. Not going to get too deep into the guts of that other than to just laugh at them. <laughs> Fuck you, Lane Kiffin. Uh, Baylor, yeah. Baylor actually survived against Iowa State. I want to say... Well, going back to that Ole Miss game, shout out to their only offense being in the second quarter. They scored four touchdowns then. Uh you, you, oh yeah 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 second quarter yeah 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 <laughs> they just like they went into halftime and they were like we good guys are we just gonna we just gonna shut it down and they were like yeah yeah let's just take a break yeah two goose eggs for the third and fourth quarter um all right whatever <laughs> um Baylor and Iowa State I believe we talked about that being a trap game last week and it looks like Baylor survived so good for them um barely barely yes barely and iowa state did about bring it back in the fourth quarter but survived baylor's looking okay um i mean frankly they're looking pretty good for the big 12 i, I mean i think it's really just them and well at this point them and maybe k-state actually maybe them and k-state or kansas oregon yeah oregon's just too inconsistent texas is way too fucking inconsistent and then texas tech looked good against texas i just don't know if we're gonna see that consistently because and again the name of the game here just seems to be lack of consistency across the board with a lot of teams in the big 12 so i mean texas tech plays a lot of ranked teams this, this yeah season. yeah but hey you know what that you know what the, the you know what that means a lot of chances for upsets and you love yeah. to see that let's take a little peek at their sure schedule do. yeah k-state uh yeah they got k-state then oklahoma yeah i mean they got a lot of chances for upsets here hmm. when's uh when's the red row rivalry and that's not the thing i meant to click on it is if you go to the right page two weeks october 8th hmm not gonna get too deep in that, but I think I'm feeling Oklahoma for that one. Um, Wyoming BYU. This is a real late game. It it was high scoring, and it was fun. Uh, then it got boring, and I went and watched One Piece on Toonami. So, oh, oh, I skipped Washington like destroying Stanford. Yeah, like yeah. Here, here's my thing. Like Stanford one and two in the Pac-12. Like or one and two, zero oh and two in the Pac-12. Now, yeah, they fucking suck. Who cares about them? Uh, Pitt blew out Rhode Island. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want to talk about this? Middle Tennessee and Miami? What What the fuck happened here? Yeah. Imagine losing to the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Do you even know where Middle Tennessee is? 
It's in the middle of Tennessee. Yeah, it is. Ha so, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. I should have seen this coming because two weeks ago, Southern Miss, my alma mater, of course, uh, went down to Miami and actually going into halftime was like extremely competitive. They pissed it away in the second half. Yeah, sure. But I guess kind of the threads of fate were already there for Miami fucking sucking. Like what? How? Well, you turn it yeah, over I mean, three yeah. times. That doesn't hurt. That the doesn't player hurt. this game was... Uh... Middle Tennessee's receiver, DJ England Ch Chisel. Two <laughs> catches for 169 Chisel, yards and two Chisel. touchdowns. I thought you said Chisel. I was like, the fuck kind of name is Chisel? Man, he is a little dude. 5'7 and 150 pounds? The fuck? I think I, I, can, I can bench press this dude. What? That is that is tiny. For a wide receiver, especially. Damn. Okay, but I mean, yeah, like he's kind of popping off, so he's doing something yeah. right. Yeah, good for him. Good yeah, for him. I mean, Miami was never close in this game. No. Yeah, I'm actually. Yeah. So, and here's the thing. So, like, they lost to Tamu last week, but like barely. It was 17 to nine, and it looked nasty the entire time. Of course, both teams just kind of sucked. But yeah. All right, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Man, this Bless. fucking this. Thank you. This season is a fucking mess. Like, I just don't. Who's good? Yeah, I mean, all I know from this week is that Tennessee teams beat Florida team. That is, a, yeah, that's a solid point. That's a solid takeaway. Yeah. I was, oh, okay. Um, I guess I can tell you who's good. Tennessee apparently is good. Um. Alabama, maybe Georgia, maybe I don't fucking know. There's nobody this season that I know everyone's kind of pointing to Georgia and be like, oh, they're unstoppable, they're unbeatable, and Ohio State too, which you know they're all unstoppable. But it's, Ohio State is one injury away from going to like the Liberty Bowl, right? And Georgia, I mean, it's Georgia. They could look dominant the entire season because they literally play like the bottom barrel of the SEC. I mean, you saw their schedule. It's a joke. Yeah. So, I don't fucking know who's good. And I don't. You know what? I do, I'm gonna say it. nobody's fucking good. Everybody sucks this season. Um, especially Ooh, Auburn. That's valid. Every, especially Auburn. Fuck Auburn. In fact, no. <laughs> I just actually looked over at my notes. That's the number one note. Fuck Auburn. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, uh, Missouri played with losing energy to go into overtime here. So I they mean. To lose. You bring out your fucking tank of a kicker out there, the thicker kicker, as they call it, and he sh like shanks it just barely. Literally, the, uh, every. It's not even that he missed the kick. It's the fact that it is first and goal at the three yard line. Yeah. Yeah. And you choose to fucking go backwards with the ball a few yards yeah. and kick. Yeah. Instead of taking the touchdown. Which, if you hadn't done that, your kicker would have made it. Right. Well, I mean, Maybe. even then, like, you score the fucking touchdown. At least try. I, well, and you, then you leave Auburn with 30 seconds to go down the field and match your touchdown. Well, I didn't, but, do not. <laughs> listen, <laughs> speaking from experience. Listen, listen. Speaking from experience, do not give Auburn any seconds left in the fourth quarter, okay? Sure, but they that's will do like some Iron Bowl voodoo. Okay, that's well, not that's true. That's true. Whoever the hell Robbie Ashford is, I thought TJ Finley was their quarterback. I think he was, but I think he's hurt. Oh, well, even more reason to say, it. fuck it, let's just take this touchdown. Yeah, let's just get this dub, but fuck it, I don't, I don't know, man. It's listen. It's losing football, and you lose games playing losing well, football. and then it, and then it gets worse. So we talk about that. That did. Uh, so that that yeah, that would have that would have given them the dub. Um, so they take it in overtime, right? Auburn yep. misses the field goal, right? No, no, they got the field goal. No, 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 they missed the first. They missed it. They missed the field goal. Then Mizzou gets the offsides. Auburn gets to re-kick and makes it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you get the ball back. You run it down their throat twice. Old boy running back sees nothing but fucking green in front of him. Runs, runs, runs. Extends with the ball and drops it five millimeters from the goal line. 
Auburn recovers, touchback, game over. Listen, they set themselves up for that. Yeah. When they went for losing football at the yeah. end of the fourth. Yeah. Hey, you're spitting, my man. You're spitting. Whatever. I don't want to talk about Auburn I mean, anymore. Fuck Auburn. Listen, that that's that whole second quarter, just a punt on every drive. Yeah. Disgusting. No, it was just it was yeah, it was just you're right. That's the best way to describe it. It was losing football. They were playing loser football for losers who lose. So fuck them. Fuck Auburn. Fuck Auburn. Uh, state did state things. TCU and SMU. So this was supposed to be a pretty good game. Um, and it was actually. SMU did not pull it out. A lot of people saw that as a trap game for TCU, but SM, uh, TCU pulled it out pretty good. Didn't watch it, so I don't Dude, actually know anything SMU's about it. SMU's quarterback is named Tanner Mordecai. Ugh, don't know how I feel about that. Now I do know what I feel about that. Well, okay. Here's what I don't know. Duke was three and one was three and oh going into this game. Duke was undefeated. Who did okay. All right, okay, yeah, but who'd they play though? Temple, Temple North Northwestern, Northwestern and N C A N T. But here's the thing. All right, Kansas State won that or Kansas won that game though. Uh it okay. What what's going what I'm okay, I'm confused kansas is currently number one in the big 12 at four and oh they've beat texas they beat texas tech to open the season sure okay yeah sure who the hell is that i don't even know where that is they then beat west virginia in a utter fucking shootout okay yeah west virginia looks a little shaky this season but still then they beat houston in pretty convincing fashion now they've beat duke who's apparently pretty is kansas good maybe i think well we'll find out we'll find out here in a little bit so they got iowa state coming up this week then tcu then oklahoma then baylor then oklahoma state they have like a rank a skid of like either ranked or very good big 12 teams coming up we'll find out but holy shit what if we get like uh, six weeks in the future and kansas state is like has like only two losses what the i i don't i think we have to i think legally we just have to f shut football down what if they have zero losses? I don't want to talk about that. I don't even want to entertain the thought that that could happen. What if they're What if they're ranked with zero losses two weeks? From well, I, you joke, but I I don't think I have a quick link to it. They are currently twenty seventh, six. One Oof. of the two. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. I do not like it. Fuck that. That's some that is some voodoo right there, man. That's some voodoo. Um Alright. So that was this week. Let's look into the future next week. Well hold on. I, we we gotta give our shout out to our shit school of the week. I was gonna I was gonna get there. Oh, okay. But we'll go ahead and do it, yeah. So new segment on the show called Shit School Shout Out of the Week. The Fordham Rams. Now tell us why we like the Fordham Rams, suck. Uh, so if you watch the Fordham Rams play football, there's going to be a lot of fucking points scored. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this is a team that doesn't even have player photos on ESPN. So, you know, they're like, this is not a team that exists, basically. Yeah, um, they're di their division. They're FCS, right? Sure. I don't think they're I mean, they're in, the, two. they're in the Patriot League. So. Yeah, the Patriot League, I'm pretty sure is FCS, not division two. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, this their quarterback, five plus touchdowns in each of the four games they played this this year so far. Mm -hmm. Pretty oh. impressive, even though they lost to the Ohio Bobcat. But yeah, well, you know, what? You know. good for them. This, these types of teams don't get talked about ever, so I figured we should give that's, this. This is what? the point of this segment. That's kind of you. Yeah, put a put a spotlight on a team that just nobody's ever fucking heard of. And you know, you know say, they say play good nice football for their division. Yeah, yeah. I mean, FCS. You you can find some good football down in FCS. I mean, not a lot of it, but you can find some. Uh, but speaking of good football, next week you won't be seeing any on Thursday. Utah State, who is one and three, will be playing BYU. BYU is a favorite by twenty four points. Mormon matchup. Who, yeah, who the fuck cares about that? Nobody cares about Utah. It's not even a real state. Um, factually correct. I have two, a vintage globe. 
<laughs> two lanes playing Houston. That's gonna be a close game, but eh, who cares? Uh, UTSA playing uh, the champions of the beating the fuck out of Miami Bowl. Um, weirdly enough, UTSA is the favorite in that. Miami, if you if you lose to a team who next week goes into a game against UTSA and UTSA is the favorite, I feel like you just shut your program down. Yeah. Like, you don't come back from that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, apparently Middle Tennessee. Apparently Middle Tennessee. Is, UTSA is a Texas team, right? Right. UT uh, San Antonio. Yeah. yeah. The road Yeah, runners. so Middle Tennessee is apparently in Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro, yeah. Yeah, Murfreesboro, that's it. Yeah, now I remember. Murfreesboro, which, interestingly enough, is in the middle of Tennessee. So accurate. Uh, it's also too close to Nashville, so that's no, kind of cringe. Yeah, like there, there's only three cities of note in Tennessee, and two of them suck. And unless you're near that third one, yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. San Diego State boys, who cares? Uh, Washington and UCLA though, so both these teams are undefeated. This is kind of interesting. This may actually have ramifications for the Pac-12 championship, which doesn't have ramifications outside that, but um, Washington is barely a three uh, field goal favorite. That could be an yeah, interesting I mean, one. It's like, oh, hey, baby, that's a, that's a late night one, too. 9.30 kickoff at the Rose Bowl. Let's fucking go. Based. Yeah, very based. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like yeah, this is a matchup of fucking M. Penix versus D. Thompson. So take your pick there. Mm. I like the name Penix. So I'm going to go with Me Penix. too. I also like the name J. Bobo. J. Bobo. Yeah, that's a good one. Ah, uh, going into Saturday, Michigan's playing Iowa. Michigan's heavily favored in that. Ooh, I'm seeing an SEC matchup here that where we're going to have some some questions will be answered. Kentucky's coming down to Oxford. Vaught Hemingway. Uh, Ole Miss is just barely a touchdown favorite. They're saying the 55 on the over-under. I'm saying take the over on that one. I don't know about you. Big game, you think? Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of firepower, not a lot of defense. So, I love to see those. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oklahoma and TCU. Oh boy, I'm. I'm gonna take Oklahoma on that one. Uh, Purdue, Minnesota. Who fucking cares about that? Texas Tech at Kansas State. Now that's gonna be interesting. So, can Texas Tech is obviously gonna be very high off their win against Texas. K-State looking to be ranked and stay ranked. K-State is a favorite by a touchdown. Ooh. I don't know about that one. I'm going to be real with you. I don't... I want to lead K-State. But I just don't know. Uh, Oregon State, who just barely lost to USC, is going into uh, Salt Lake City to play Utah. Both teams are three and one. Utah is a heavy favorite, but I don't know. Maybe maybe Oregon State plays pissed in that game. Don't know. I could see it. I could see it. Oh God, fuck me. Alabama plays Arkansas in Fayetteville. Arkansas, who is definitely not pissed about losing to Tamu, definitely won't be playing lights out against Alabama, who they haven't beat in like seventy-two years. Oh my god. Well, now, all you have to do is shut down the quarterback. Yeah. Which I mean, our, their whole our, entire team. Our blitz has been pretty powerful. So, I mean, it could be Alabama's a 16 point favorite. No. No. <laughs> do not take that. Look, when when it comes to Alabama, I don't think we have like the formula yet. So, on any betting line, always take the under. I mean, unless it's a cupcake. Always take the under and do not take Alabama to cover. Do not. So I'm going to say it's going to be way close. I'm going to say this one's going to be a sweat fest. It was last year. I remember. I remember um, because we played this much later in the season last year. Like, uh, I think it was just the, I think it was the game before Auburn, actually. Uh, they near about whipped our ass. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I stopped watching and I came in here. I, there was, I was like in the middle of like moving shit around my office. I was like, fuck this. I'm, I'm just going to go move furniture. I can't handle this stress. 
Um, shout out though to the nice weather. Two thirty kickoff on. Oh God, it's gonna be on CBS. We gotta hear Gary Danielson. Fuck. Gross. It is gonna be seventy-seven degrees of kickoff though in Fayetteville. Cannot complain nice. about that. Yeah. Rutgers, who is three and one. Wait, what? Am I reading that right? Rutgers is three and one. I mean, look at they play. Oh, that bad. I mean, Boston College. Who the fuck is Wagner? One by one point. Okay. The Wagner Seahawks. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ohio State is a forty-one point favorite in that game. Um. Listen. All I'm saying about Rutgers is the Iowa Hawkeyes put up 27 points on them, and like Iowa scores three points a game. Yeah, that's 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 a solid point. So, uh, let's see, Oklahoma State coming down to Baylor, Waco, Texas, and that is going to be a close fucking game, a two point favorite for Baylor. Uh, that one could go either way, honestly. Although I think K State pulls it out, honestly, pulls out the upset, which is weird. I mean, Okie State is ninth, Baylor sixteenth, so whatever. I feel Okie State in that one over under fifty five. Oof, I'm gonna say, <clears throat> I'm gonna say slam that over. Uh, Northwestern State's gonna get absolutely donkey dick by Penn State. Nobody cares. Uh, Wake Forest is coming down to Tallahassee to play undefeated Florida State. Good for them. Good for them. Um, I, I I feel Florida on this one. They're a six point favorite. I feel them. Wake Forest is okay, but I seem to recall them struggling against Vanderbilt. Did I make that up? I did make that up. No, they handled. They defeated them handily. They did struggle against Liberty. That's what I was thinking of. So, eh, right. You know, uh, and they did lose to Clemson. So, yeah, barely. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm gonna take Florida State on that one. I feel good about it. Uh, over under 66. I'm not feeling good. Mm, no, I am feeling good, but good about the over on that one. Uh, Tamu is coming down to Starkville. A little cowbell action. State is a t- field goal favorite for an over under 46. That feels low. I mean, I know Tamu has been playing a lot of games where it's like low scoring. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe that is actually really. Yeah, no. They have been not scoring hardly at all god they lost to appalachia state 17 4 god yeah oh yeah no take that under baby take that under unless unless mike leach just like decides that he wakes up and goes you know what i want to score 100 points today so uh, so who knows yeah i mean they put up 31 on sam houston so Mm. come on you're only scoring 31 fcs team houston fcs team though so uh, Georgia has to go see Missouri. Uh, Fuck cares. NC State at Clemson. Now, NC State, Clemson is a uh, almost a touchdown favorite. NC State has historically been a thorn in Clemson's. Uh, oh, it's a top ten matchup. It is a top ten matchup of undefeateds in the ACC. Um, ah, I, I could see NC State pulling this out. Primetime game on ABC. Uh, they're like you know, bunch of attention on it under the lights. Big game in Clemson. They're going to be bringing their A game. NC State has near about whipped their ass a couple of times in the past in with bigger stakes, with and with a bigger. I don't know. Skill I divide. think I think Clemson's offense. They're I think DJ ukulele started to figure it out last week. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Clemson probably got this one. It's a coin flip for me, honestly. It's a coin flip, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lean NC State. Uh, Georgia, uh, I saw Georgia Tech, and I stopped caring. Um, Arizona, I saw Arizona State, and I stopped caring. Uh, uh, yeah, and yeah, rest of nobody cares. Who cares? Nobody cares. Um, we'll talk about the AP poll here for just a second because it makes me angry, and I don't want to look at it too long. No change in the top five. USC went up. How? I'm sorry, USC went up a spot? Whoa, well, because... Yeah, Arkansas, I, don't, I don't know that. Well, Arkansas had to fall, so everyone else kind of uh, moved by default. And Oklahoma had to fall. Yeah, Tennessee jumped three spots into number eight. So that means... So Tennessee has a bye this week, and then they play LSU. Then they play Alabama. That could very well be... Also like, Okay, so let's just like war game this for a second. Let's say Clemson loses. Let's say Tennessee demolishes LSU... It could very well be like number two versus number six, Thursday in October in Neatland. Sure could. 
I don't I don't know how I feel about that, to be quite honest. And what I is, feel great about it. Hold on. Well, let me see some. Is it gonna be oh, time TBA? I don't know if that's an uh, a night game or an evening game or a morning game or what, but God, it, it, well, first of all, it's probably going to be, an, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be an afternoon game on CBS. We're going to have to f- fucking hear Gary Danielson again. Oh, we have Gary Danielson. Um, but yeah, that, I'm honestly a little, like, I, I'm scared, but I am excited. Tennessee is legitimately the hardest team I think we're going to play this year. So, uh, Okie State stayed the same. NC State jumped up two. Penn State jumped up two. I don't know why. I mean, they didn't just beat the shit out of Central Michigan or anything. So, uh, everyone, I mean, everyone, there was a bunch of upward motion because Oklahoma and Arkansas fell so hard. Dropping Arkansas 10 spots honestly feels a little fucking disrespectful, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, Tamu was a pretty equally ranked opponent skill wise. I I guess the loss to App State kind of made it seem a little bit more lopsided than it was. I don't know. Dropping them 10 points just felt disrespectful. Like, that's just... Well, that's the way the poll be. It is. Uh, yeah, you were right. Kansas is sitting there at 26. Cincinnati and Florida at 27 and 28. Wow. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of good teams just on the outside looking in. This could be a hell of a year, man. This could be a hell of a year. Um i'm excited when man it ain't even october yet i mean it will be october saturday but i don't i don't think i've seen this exciting of a september in i'm trying to think man i don't know i a while 2017 maybe i think 2017 was pretty good 2017 this year feels a lot like 2017 as far as like chaos goes so Feeling real good about it. And I tell you what, the chaos does not stop with college football. It does not. It does not. It started, it, it extends quite all some the, games this It week. extends all the way fucking way into uh What? Oh, but I was, I was looking at that, I was like, why does that score blank? It's, it's tomorrow, yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. no. Uh, I can't read. Listen, English is my second language, don't worry about it. Um wow, man. That fucking Steelers Browns game, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, surprising amount of points scored in this game. This is uh, not supposed to be this high scoring. No, no. When I think of these two teams, I do not think of powerful, you know, high paced, big scoring offenses. No, I mean the Steelers have a god awful offense, so the fact mm-hmm. that they even put seventeen points up is kind of. Surprising. I mean, the Steelers' offense essentially just is Najee Harris. That's 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 essentially it. That's their offense. Mitch Trubisky's I mean, mid at best. They, I'm gonna be real with you. They don't have an offense. Hmm. You have to understand. They're, I I am a true, well not blue, true crimson Homer. I see Alabama oh, absolutely. player, and I I pimp, I simp. Listen, I, I had money on Najee Harris to score a touchdown, so he, he really yeah. came home for me there. Unfortunately, it was a parlay that got fucked at the end, so Oof. not too happy about that. No. So, yeah, the uh, real h- highlight of this game, despite the points being higher than supposed to, was that the uh, refs made some very bold choices at the end that made a lot of people unhappy. Many such cases. So what I'm talking about here is Basically, uh, Browns were just needed. If Browns needed a first down and the game was over, they get the first down, and then the refs come in and go, "Nah, he was actually short," even though he was probably over, and they could have just ended the game there and been mm-hmm. whatever. So no, the Browns end up having to punt with 15 seconds left in the game. And then what do the Steelers do? They try and do this dumbass pitching the ball around to each other bullshit. Hook and ladder. Fumble the ball, bat it into the end zone. Browns get an extra touchdown. Game over. <laughs> uh, That's a fucking terrible way for the game to end and uh, ruined a, ruined my Steelers plus 7.5 bet. Hmm. Hate to say wasn't it. wasn't great. I hate to say it. Uh, do not. So yeah, fuck the Steelers. Fuck the Brown. Honestly, fuck all. 
I feel like if I feel like if the yeah no I can combine that. I feel like if the Steelers were just because I mean Mitch Trubisky is okay. He's not a bad quarterback. He's not a bad quarterback. We've seen Uh, worse. He's 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 certainly not the best. No, he's very. I mean, at least he can complete pass. I suppose. But man, you just want to see Kenny Pickett get. I know we I know we say that every week. I just want to see Kenny Pickett. That's like fucking. It's like Ed Orgeron and being at LSU. It just feels right. Well, obviously, hopefully, it doesn't end the same way. But, um, yeah, I want them to. Yeah, fuck Mitch Trubisky. I mean, not really because yeah. he seems like an okay guy. But in this instance, fuck Mitch Trubisky. So. And unfortunately, Mike Tomlin has once again stated that he has no plans to put Kenny Pickett in. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, I mean, Tomlin knows what he's doing. He has. He does. Never he had a losing rings. season. Yeah, he has multiple rings. He's a smart guy, so trust. Hey, hashtag trust the plan. I guess. One of three ever head coaches for the Steelers. Yeah, that's actually a pretty crazy statistic, to be quite honest. It is, and it's crazy. It's crazy about Tomlin. Like you know, I, I I haven't been watching a long time, but I think he's the only coach that's still with the team he was with when I started watching. I think the only other one was Sean Payton, and he he's gone now too. So crazy. Well, I guess he had to. I mean, Belichick has been with the Pats pretty long at this point. But oh, I guess... right. I forgot about Belichick. Yeah, I guess if too. you were watching when he was with the Browns, I was not. So. Uh yeah. So moving into today, some pretty wild results in some of these games. Hey, I'd say. quick shout out to YouTube TV for giving us Red Zone oh, fight for the day. Loved very it. Based I did miss hearing Andrew Siciliano. He's exclusive to DirecTV. I did miss hearing him, but it was nice. So, Listen, I like uh, Scott Hanson. He's not bad. He's not bad. He's not. So the Texans-Bears game, another game that was also higher scoring than I thought it would be. This game fucking sucked this was one of those bad football games of the day man the texans are terrible the bears are terrible honestly just cut justin fields already i don't know move on from the guy he might be the worst player in the nfl right now i don't know that i'd go that far because trey lance is still in the nfl that's true that's a good point actually yeah sorry Justin Fields is so bad. I was I saw I was I was clicking on something else and I actually just looked over at eight for seventeen for a hundred and six yards and two interceptions, no TDs. Yeah. How yeah, did no, they the, win? Uh, on the back of their running back and their ah. defense. Ah, there you go. Because luckily for them, they're playing the Texans, and the Texans That's are true. equally bad. That's true. Yeah, I I think I actually said that when the game was on. I was like, the Texans legitimately are just the fucking worst. They're just god off. They're just they're not like, fun to watch. There's no redeeming factors to the Texans. The Bears are winning games in spite of Fields, not because yeah. of Fields, and that is a problem. They need to just just, just get rid of the guy. Who's his backup? Is, is, it's a good question. I should, I should, Let's I should, see depth chart. Oh, Trevor Simeon. <laughs> I mean, Trevor Simeon was down in New Orleans. I got to see him a little bit while um, uh, Breeze was hurt. Listen, He's not bad. I think he would be an upgrade over a field. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, eight for seventeen. I'm 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 almost certain I could complete more than eight passes. I, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not confident in that. It's just the fact that they clearly don't trust him to throw. Yeah. He yeah. has not thrown twenty passes in a single game yet. Ooh, that's they not a good do stat. not trust their quarterback to throw, that's a bad and this stat. is a very much quarterback-driven league. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the Bears have a serious quarterback problem. Yeah. Despite being two and one, but whatever. Well, they beat the Trey Lance Niners the first week in a very wet, yeah. rainy game. So yeah, there you go. Now. Texans or Titans Raiders. Now, can I say in this uh, game how good it feels to see Derrick Henry kind of back in form? Uh, yeah, he in the, in the first half, Derrick Henry was kind of popping off. It looks like I think most of his yards were in the first half. In the I second were, half, yeah. it just looks like the, the Titans just kind of slowed completely. But mm-hmm. 
Big shout out to the Raiders being 0 and 3. Yeah. So would you give they the were fire supposed to be good they were supposed to be 0 3. They were supposed to be good this season. They picked up arguably one of the best wide receivers in the league in the offseason. With mm-hmm. it was supposed to be like that college connection. They're supposed to be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, not 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 very much. Hmm. Now they did almost take this to some free football, but they failed the two point conversion. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so as most of us all know, of course, uh, there's two new head coaches this season. The Raiders head coach is Josh McDaniels and the Dolphins head coach is Mike McDaniel, mm-hmm. which, you know, to McDaniel, a, a bit confusing. The, mm-hmm. the way you can tell the difference here is McDaniels, there's an S on the end because he's shit and McDaniel has no <laughs> S on the end because he's good. Okay. Nah, I, I, I got that. Yeah. Shout out to Tennessee, not scoring a single point in the second half. So yeah, it's a somewhat common occurrence. Mm. This it is a recurring theme, isn't it? Oh, no. Now, uh, moving on from that, and uh, probably the biggest upset that no one saw coming: uh, the Chiefs Colts. Yeah, the Colts somehow won this game, which was kind of insane. Well, Casey Casey turned it over twice. Mahomes looked. I mean, he's, on stat wise, he looked good at least, but he did throw an interception. Yeah, I don't know the uh, the Colts were like really bad here. Their first score was, uh, I think, Kansas City had some difficulty in special teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, miss miss field goal. Uh, they they do have a backup kicker still, so mm. I guess because there's hurt, so I guess that does kind of explain it, but. Uh, yeah, trouble in Chief Kingdom because the Colts are so. Or, I mean, the Colts are terrible. Yeah, I'll say that they lost to the Jags and tied to the Texans. Oh, I will. I do enjoy no. this symmetry of their record, though. They are one and one and one. That's yeah. That's kind of based. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, perfectly balanced. Which yeah, the Chiefs gave up that last. I mean, 30 seconds left in the game, touchdown to the Colts to lose. Which, I mean, I, for one, was fucking shocked when I yeah. saw that. Yeah. I think everyone was. I think he, I think even Matt Ryan was shocked. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that means uh, the Chiefs are no longer undefeated. Mm-hmm. We, and we're down to three undefeated teams now. That's who may Three shock you when you hear who they are. Well, they will, but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Well, actually, we'll get to it. Uh, one of them right now, actually. Uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another, uh, uh, this, now this was a battle, two undefeated teams, divisional mm-hmm. matchup, Bills, Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, of course, the Bills are the favorites for obvious reasons, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean... All I can say is they were clearly fucking dominant in this game. Fucking 500 yards versus I was about to say, this is one of the most, like, I mean, block everything else and just look at the stats here. This is, this, if you'd ask me what the score of this was, I'd say, like, I don't know, like 40-something to 10. No. Yeah, they just, I don't know, they couldn't get it done. Mm-mm. I think, I mean, in the second half, they had a 20-play, nine-minute drive ending in a field goal. That started at the Buffalo too. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, a missed field goal. I mean, hate to see that because they Mm -hmm. would have won the game if they got that. Yeah. And then a a 17 play, eight minute drive ended in turnover on down. (laughs) Also, I like that goal line. So, like, the Bills were already out a lot of players. I think half their O line went down in this game. Oh, God. Which I think was almost purely because, I mean, they're down in hot and humid yeah. Miami. Oh, it's terrible used down to there. Buffalo weather, and they have two, like, back-to-back 10-minute drives. That's going to kill some of those big boys. Yeah, no. Um, this game like this game was essentially a comedy of errors, right? Like, nothing, everything went wrong in this game that could go wrong for both players. So the punter was apparently retarded. Uh, he kicked one straight up in oh. Miami's own end zone. Uh, Tua got well, hurt. No, what, what happened there? Oh, with right. That punt, see, at that's the end of the worse. game. It's even worse. They're in the end zone. Right. 
having to punt it away with a minute and a half left in the game. Mm-hmm. The punter kicks the ball right into the center's ass. <laughs> now, they are so lucky that that ball bounced backwards yeah. and like up into the air and out of the end zone yeah. and in the safety. Because if Bills landed on that ball, that's potentially game there. Yeah. Um, now, I was going to say a comedy of errors. Yeah. Tua got hurt like twice in this game. Uh, which which explains, I think, the stat line for him, 13, 18, 186 yards for one touchdown. For Tua Tavangaloa, that's low. That's very low. It is. Uh, he hurt his back pretty early in the game, and then I think towards halftime, he might have gotten a little bit of a fun cushion, but he got the he, they ran the protocol and he was clear and he got to come back into the game. But there was some questions there. He was a little wobbly, and clearly, it, yeah. Uh, like like when he that... stood up from the hit, he looked oh, yeah. like very wobbly. It was not good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, what a fuck. And then there was a, there was just a little clip of the, the, one of the coordinators for the Bills up in the booth having an absolute piss fit after it was over, just literally tearing shit up and throw. Oh my god. Oh yeah, because I mean, I think he was valid to be upset because yeah. fucking. On the last play of the game, Isaiah McKenzie catches the ball, clearly can't get out of bounds, and wastes like yeah. 10 seconds no, still trying to anyway. I was frustrated watching that, and I was pulling from the you, Dolphins. You get down, yeah. you spike the fucking ball, you have a shot at a field goal. Well, yeah. the thing is, like, no, yeah, I, you... I gotta try to be the hero, and you fucking lose the game. The well, game. yeah, it's like, it, it, was, it was just such terrible clock management, even from like, okay, sure, you he doesn't get out of bounds, sure, fine. But it's like they just kind of like even slow walk because once they even got up to the line, they just didn't even like snap it with any haste. They were just, it was like it was just a regular snap and they were like, oh, okay. Well, I, there is uh, some waiting. You, you do have to wait for the ref to get up there. I know, but the even then it was just kind of like, it just looked it. lackadaisical. Sure, but I mean, it was really just the fact that which I will say, these guys are gassed as fuck at this sure. point, so I understand sure. that. But come on. Yeah. So yeah, the Dolphins, shockingly, yeah. one of the last three 3-0 three and teams on top of the AFC East right now. Yeah. Uh, just like everybody now, I, expected. Right. Now, I do fully expect the Bills to bounce back, especially as it gets colder. They won't have any more of these literally dying yeah. mid-game games. But I think both these teams will be seen in the playoffs this year, for sure. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching this clip again of the snap. Yeah, I, I guess in real time things do seem a little bit slower. Yeah, it, I mean you can see it's him like he he did. There was there was like an A B option there. It's like, do I keep running straight and go out at the 45 and give us like a you know a 50 plus year uh, yard field goal? Sure. Yeah, that's questionable. But you at least have the chance versus trying to get right. back up. Oh, yeah, Allen's pissed. The OC's pissed. Uh, man, it's, just... it's just such a shit way for a game to end. Like, <laughs> you always want to see it end on, like, a Hail Mary <laughs> or a field goal. You don't want to see it end on... Dude, oh, that guy was going right ape now. shit on that iPad. <laughs> it sure was. Yeah, no, that's... I mean, that's funny, but at the same time, it's just super fucking frustrating. Yeah, fuck you. You know what? I, I think here's the recurring theme from college and NFL this this week. Fuck the city of Miami. You know what? No. Yeah. Fuck the entire state of Florida. Well, there's still some other Florida teams we have to get to. That's true. Good point. But uh, next on the list is the uh, Lions Vikings. Vikings had a last minute touchdown to win the game. Mm. But you know what? Kind of hate to see it because I'm I'm low key a big do- a Lions fan this season. Mm-hmm. Cousins was kind of slanging that shit. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I figured it out at the end. Yeah, well, in many such cases. Yeah, I mean, up until the fourth quarter when the Lions no longer scored a touchdown, they yeah. had the current most consecutive touchdowns in quarters. Kind mm-hmm. of, de- I think it was like eighteen quarters with a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the problem so, with I mean, jo- uh, Goff and Cousins is I think the word that fits both of them most is inconsistent. Yeah, I mean, Goff's made it to a Super Bowl, but a lot of people don't credit him for making it there. I was going to say, so did Eli Manning, and I mean, you know. 
Listen, Eli Manning's a two-time Super Bowl MVP. Do not disrespect him. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Okay. Listen, Eli Manning, great quarterback. It's the team that let him down his last few years. Fair, fair. Some By the way, very Manning cash tomorrow night for, for Monday Night Football. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Base? Yeah. Oh, especially what? with tomorrow's matchup. Yeah. Can't wait. Well, yeah, Vikings pull off a last-minute win. It is what it is. AFC North is shithole. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baltimore Ravens Pats. That was a good game. You, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, frustrating, but yes. it, it was a good game. Yeah. God, oh, the fucking four turnovers. Jesus Christ. Uh, it was a rough end of the game for the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, across Lost. the board. I mean, their last three drives were turnovers, so you yeah. really hate yeah. to see it. Yeah, and you hate to see that three of those were from Mac Jones himself, who yeah. was uh, had to be car- literally carried out of the game. Um, no. Oh, yeah, some piece of shit put a photo out on Twitter of him just, like, going into the locker room clearly in, like, excruciating pain. Like, my brother in Christ, the dude's, like, dying here. Yeah. Give him a break. However, I, w- I do come bearing good news. There is... X-rays all came back clear. He's structurally fine, but, I mean, there could be some sort of ripped muscle. That, I mean, it could be a plethora of different things. Right. The good thing is nothing's broken, at least. So, But, man, no, it's it's rough to see that because I'm, I'm a huge Mac Jones fan. I, everybody knows that. Of so, course. This was very difficult to watch. Now, I will say, Lamar Jackson does continue his pretty impressive season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he an he's, he's pretty decent but... in football. Four passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown with 100 yards. Jesus. Yeah, he's all right at football, I guess. I think he's uh, alone on top with the large amount of passing yards and rushing yards in a game record. now. Well, and I was going to say, I think just across the board, I think as far as like quarterbacks in the league right now go, I I want to say like he's one of the few that's just still looking like really good. Yeah. Well, listen, he's playing for that new contract. And yeah, he knows that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's true. And he's showing them, you motherfuckers didn't pay me. Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of speaking of Lamar Jackson and the Patriots, I don't, all I that, like, you know, I don't want to, but let's you go don't, ahead. I know you don't want to talk uh, about uh-huh. this, but since we're a football show, we got to talk yeah. about it. A lot of rumors between, uh, you know, Belichick and Lamar, like smiling at each other and stuff. That, yeah. The Pats might be trying to pick up Lamar Jackson next season. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't think it's very likely. I mean, the Ravens can franchise tag him for at least two years before mm-hmm. they they have to let him go. But well, hey, uh, we'll see. Mac, I, I hear it's lovely weather this time of year in New Orleans. It's not. It's actually incredibly muggy and terrible. But um, God, well, wanna... unfortunately for you, I suspect Mac would be going to Baltimore in said trade. Oh no, that is that's worst case. I hate Baltimore. Oh <laughs> no, God fuck me. Uh, I just want an Alabama quarterback in New Orleans. Is that so much to ask for? Maybe, bro, maybe, maybe, maybe the. So I mean, we'll get to it here in a little bit, but they they might have a pretty early pick this year or next year too. Maybe they get Bryce. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, no, fuck this game. Fuck the Ravens. Fuck everyone. I mean, so Bengals Jets. All there's really to take away from this is that the Bengals finally bounced back a bit. Mm-hmm. Their O line looked like an actual O line mm-hmm. for once, and that the Jets might legitimately be like the worst team in football. So, right, and they're still playing with their backup quarterback, and I am zero way convinced that it'll get better when Zach Wilson gets yeah. back. I, I'm seeing here. We're we obviously when we're doing this show, we're we're looking at here on ESPN. The f- the first thing that pops up was Quinn and Williams and the Jets DL coach get heated on sideline. Listen here, if you get heated with Quinn and Williams, aka literally the nicest man in football, you fucked up. You have fucked up. I don't know. I like. I don't even know what happened. I'm automatically on Quinn and Williams' side. He is legitimately like the nicest human being who has ever played football. Right. If if he if you if he if you push him into a spot where he's getting into a screaming match at you, I don't care. You're in the wrong. Don't care. 
So I don't know what that was about. I don't know why they were in a screaming match, but if you pissed off Quinn and Williams, it's your fault. So. Yeah, I mean, the Jets hired a big, quote-unquote, defensive mind head coach, and their defense hasn't been very good since then. So mm. a lot of question marks there. Mm. But sure, I'll believe you on that Quinn and Williams stuff. Well, he went to Alabama, so... Yeah, yeah, well, no, that's I, what I, I that's what i figured based well, on what no, you're saying. I, I i am not being just entirely baseless on that there there are tons of videos that he was he's just legitimately a very nice person he has like a very like uh, i don't want to say bubbly but just like a kind personality he's kind of he's real funny he's just a really nice guy and i just he was going ape shit on that guy yeah um, he was so I, i'm automatically on quinn inside to be quite honest so yeah good uh burrow looked burrow looked okay I was, yeah, he's clearly uh, better than the past two weeks. Well, and I, I was, I, I did see a little bit of this. Of course, I was watching Red Zone. I saw a little bit of this. Their O line looked okay, but you're, ta- I guess you're talking about uh, the Jets having a shitty defense. I guess that was right. the, it's not yeah, a, that was not a great measure. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that was the contributing factor there, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so ma- Bengals are. I don't know. They're, they're scheduled to play someone good next week, I think. So yeah. So maybe maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, they're they're versions. playing the Dolls next week, so oh, that yeah, line so. is going to be very uh, tested. Yeah. yeah. Rip. 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 Yeah. Hey, here's a question: Who storms off the field and disgust first, uh, Joe Burrow or Joe Brady? Uh, Tom Brady. Uh, I think. So here's the thing about Joe Burrow: He likes to have pretend he's got. Or I guess maybe not pretend, but he says he's got that Ohio grit that yeah. those Ohioans claim they have. So I d- that's not he's got thing. that toughness about himself. That's not, that's not a thing. Right. That's I mean, he's, he's, he's made that up. Right. But I think he believes in that. So he has to keep up the oh, look. Okay. Is that so why he looks so dour all the time? Yeah. Oh, OK. Also, this is, I think this is what living in Cincinnati does to you. He's fucked up. Uh, but true. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this dude is never fucking smiling. Like, dude, just fucking. I mean, he did come in with some pretty fresh outfits in the playoffs last year. That's true. He yeah, he was. So I mean, give I'll give him credit just on yeah. that. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. All right. First. Uh. NFC East matchup of the year. The okay, Eagles I know were... I said I know I said that the Jets were maybe the worst team in football, but uh, Commanders given the uh, Commanders are bad. Yeah, I'm gonna personally say it's neither of those two teams. We'll get to which teams it okay. is later. If you later say on. if you say the Saints, I'm gonna murder you. But no, it's not agree. the Saints. It's uh, it's our Sunday night football oh, matchup. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So again, the Eagles. Look great in the first half. Hertz looks great. Oh, Devonta really Smith. Devonte Smith. However, I don't know how he does Devontae, the A at yeah. the end there. Capital A for no reason at the end of his name. Whatever. Uh, just don't, he, don't, ask, don't ask questions. He had a great game. Yeah. This yeah, dude I mean, made some winner. fantastic catches. Heisman winner, man. Right, which I mean, they all said, oh, he might be too small going in the NFL. No, but no, 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 no. He made some incredible yeah. contested catches this game, mm. so I'll give him that. But... This is two weeks in a row that the Eagles have gotten to 24 points in the first half and then been completely shut out in the second half. Yeah, I was I was looking at that. I was very confused. So they scored nothing in the first quarter, nothing in the third, and nothing in the fourth, and then 24 in the second quarter. What? Right. <laughs> what? Yeah. That don't make no sense. So now here's my analysis on the Eagles this year. Okay. Is this partially coming as a Giants fan who hates the other NFC East members? Yes. yes. But I'm going to compare the Eagles to last year's Arizona Cardinals. Okay. They've got a physically talented, running all over the field quarterback, mm-hmm. a decent pass game, an okay run game, and they win a lot of games early in the season, mid season. Now there's a lot of film on their se- their offense for this season. Teams figure them out with a quarterback run game shut down. They come grinding to a halt. Make the playoffs, go out in the wild card round. That's my prediction right now. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, Jalen's your guy. You I don't like to hear it, but but 
fuck the Eagles. So I'm saying it. Uh, yeah, they do. Hey, I was just noticing this when I was looking at the depth chart. They also have Gardner Minshew. I didn't know that's where he oh, landed, dude. but shout out. Yeah, he was there last year as well. Gardner Minshew is a man. He is. He's something. I'm honestly, I love Gardner Minshew. He played, I think, in two games last year when I think Jalen was hurt. I'm surprised Gardner didn't get signed to another team to be a potential starter i because yeah i don't understand it because so he was with the, he, he was really good last year in the well, game and he was played. with jacksonville for a while too and he was really yeah, he was good down starter. there like I, I just i think it's because he kind of has like this goofy personality i think a lot of people like overlook him and it's like oh he can't be like he can't be like the face of our program he's too fucking goofy but he's like like good I think the Steelers would be better off with him starting than Mitch Trubisky. I well, yeah. So. And yeah, the Commanders are riding and dying on Carson Wentz football. Either he's the best quarterback in the league a week in a week, or he's the worst quarterback in the league that week. Mm-hmm. Really, just a flip of the coin. That is that is literally Carson Wentz football, and yeah. you know sometimes you love to see it, sometimes you hate to see it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the Eagles have a second half problem they've got to figure out. Right. Uh, moving on to your favorite. To the game. Jaguars and the Chargers. Yeah, no, that's a uh, yeah, no, that's a uh, interesting game down uh, there. I know you you skipped over one here, pal. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. But right, listen, we'll be out. quick about it. The All Saints, right. realistic. They kind of got the. I mean, Jamise. That, yes, that's I call him Jamise. Come at me. That's fine. No, that's what he doesn't deserve to be called anything better. He had the yards, but I mean three turnovers. I, I, think, I, I, I think Kamara have, fumbled at like pretty close into the Saints territory early on. I literally have no explanation. Oh no, excuse for this. No, first quarter Kamara got scoop and scored on. You know, yeah, yeah. can't be doing that. I even put my jersey on this morning, bro, dude. And like. The Baker Mayfield Panthers fucking suck. No, they're not good. No, they're they are not, not good. good. I honestly thought going into this game, they would be going 0 and 3. So to see the Saints lose this was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, for all it's of a us. disappointment, but it's not shocking. It is not. The listen, the post Drew Brees, Sean Payton Saints are. I just don't. I just don't be understand. There is a lot of talent on the Saints. Like uh, Alvin Kamara, Jameis Winston, Mark Ingram, uh, what's his name, Alave, Jarvis Landry, fucking Alvin Kamara. (laughs) What? I just don't understand what the fuck is going on. I don't know if this is like a Dennis Allen, there's no Sean Payton, he can't get the team together properly or what. It has to be. Because, yeah, I mean, Kamara was incredible last year. Yeah. And I mean, I guess many such cases he got hurt and he came back and not the same guy, but yeah. It, it's, you hate to see it. You, you really hate do. to see it, but moving on, moving on. Yeah. Let's talk about the actual best team in the NFL, the yeah. Jacksonville Jaguar. T law. Damn. Listen, damn. This might be his year. It might be. I mean, yeah, it, it really, it, it definitely does feel like, you know, you know, you, you bring, you bring a new quarterback in and you kind of build around him. Jaguars, there was a lot of questions because they had already brought in a couple of quarterbacks to build around air quotes. You know, they had, um, they had Minshew, they had fucking old boy with the huge ass mustache. And then like, it just went nowhere. And then of course, with a year or two of T law is like, is it going to be a repeat? I don't know, man. 28 for 39, 262 yards, and three fucking touchdowns. Let's go. Right, and the Chargers defense is a very good defense, so mm-hmm. they put up 38 points in that. Yeah. And the Chargers offense is a pretty damn good offense. Now, right. I will say, Herbert does have his whole like cracked rib cartilage going on. And they on. did turn it over twice. Right. But I will I, respect to Herbert for even staying in the whole game despite being like, Oh, definitely. definitely. And in fact, up. dog of the week, I think. Absolute dog, dog of the week. Of I the agree. Week. But yeah, I mean, listen, the Jaguars shit on the Chargers. Shut out the Colts last week. Yes, they lost to the Commanders, but the Commanders, that was uh, Carson Wentz football special. Yeah. That's all. That's what I'm going to put that one up to. Fair. 
I think this is a big season for the Jaguars, and I kind of like to see it. I do too. I do too. I, you know, I've told the story about that. You know, like I, I originally did not like Trevor Lawrence much, obviously because of you know Clemson and Alabama meeting up a lot in the playoffs and the national championships and him beating us. But uh, what he did during 2000, uh, 2020 with convincing, you know, ADs and, you know, conference people that they need to play football. A lot of respect for him. And then going into the NFL, we really wanted to see him succeed. And now that he's kind of finding that groove, hey, love to see it. Absolutely. Which, yeah, I think, honestly, the Jaguars have a decent shot at making the playoffs just because Mm -hmm. the AFC South is kind of a clown show right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, who's going to be like, who's the Falcons, the fucking Saints? No, AFC South. Oh, yeah, I think it's AFC South. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, I mean, hell, they're they're on top of it right now. So we'll see where they end up in 15 weeks from now. But Mm -hmm. I mean, they also put up the most points in a game this this week. So you kind of like to see them. Mm hmm. I don't think anyone had Jaguars scoring the most points this week on their bet. Uh no, I don't. I think there's a lot of shit happening this week that no one saw coming. You know that's fair. So no, the last four games of the week that we have to get into were none of them were good. Yeah. Well, one of them was all right, but none of these were really great games. No. No. So Rams Cardinals NFC West matchup. The uh, Rams, I mean, they, they had control of the game the whole time. Holy shit, Kyler Murray threw the ball 58 times. He did, and he didn't get a single touchdown. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Yeah. At that point, Listen, at that but, point, it's not him. At that point, it's not him. I mean, I mean, I just is he thrown statistic- to the wrong guys? I don't know, but I'm just thinking, like, just statistically, at that point, at almost 60 times, it can't be him. It has to be on someone else. Maybe. Okay, maybe. Listen, 37 completed passes for 314 yards is not good. No. So, like, you kind of are throwing passes that clearly aren't going very far. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not big on the cards. I think they suck. Yeah, well. That's I mean, that's really all there is to say about this game. Uh, the it was not a it was not a good game. Well, it's nice to see because the Rams are obviously like as far as like ESPN and the league go, they are very heavy on the Rams. Obviously, the Rams like they want the Rams to be like the face of the NFL, the face of the sport really. You know, it's in this big trendy city and a multi-billion dollar stadium that has no fans. Um, I mean, there. I mean, I think some of it's based on the Rams being the most recent Super Bowl champion, which is fair. Well, yeah, I, it is, but it's been that way for several years, though. I mean, you, you go back all the way to what was it, 2018, 2019, with that very infamous, and I'm about to be a homer here for a second, so bear with me. That very infamous no call on the pass interference against this, uh, the Rams in the the Saints game. Wasn't uh, that Viking Saints that game? No, that was, that was Rams. If I were, if I, rec- if I, rec- I, I was it? Then why was I? Why was I angry about it? So I think it wasn't it that the Saints lost to the Vikings, and then the Vikings lost to the Rams. That and was it. The Rams yeah, 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 yeah. Thank then you. Then the Rams just played like shit. In the you Super know what? Bowl. Listen, here's the thing. Fuck the Rams. Okay, fuck the Rams. Uh, no, I fully agree. Fuck yeah. the Rams. Yeah. Well, I think I think my my point there what really was that like the Saints were obviously the threat that season. And it was very much about, you know, getting the Rams to the Super Bowl. And then, of course, they got blown out by the Patriots, and it was just a snooze fest of a fucking game. But sure was. So, yeah, fuck the Rams. Is, I, yeah, no. Is my point. What I'd say is the uh, one decent game of the afternoon time slot, the Falcons Seahawks. 
see you, you just... put those you put those two words together decent and falcons and my brain just kind of shut down when you said that so listen, uh, I'll, I'll listen it, yeah, listen let, let me let me get at this it All was right. a decent game purely because both teams are terrible yes that they were playing at each other's level yes <laughs> very and evenly matched in how much they both fucking sucked for the first half neither of these teams wanted to play defense and it kind of owned Receivers were had like every play had like five yards of space around them. I'm gonna stop and you for a second. Then. Is brother's name really Young Ho Ku? Oh yeah, that's uh I think he's out of Georgia, like a, a Georgia Southern. college team. Yeah. Young Ho Okay. You know what? He's Korean. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a Korean okay. name right there. Uh, okay, all right. Whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's sure. the name, all right? Yeah, it's, it is the name. I can confirm that, yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Not, his parents did choose to name him Young Ho. They did They did definitely <laughs> choose to name him Young Ho, but uh, maybe that means something in Korean. Maybe it means, you know. And, I, I'd have to look up his, his past life and see if he was actually born in Korea or what, because if they, if they were in America at this point and they named him Young Ho, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, this this game was... I mean, apparently there was nothing happened in the fourth quarter. I didn't really watch the end of it, but the start was entertaining, and that's about all we can ask for with how bad this mm-hmm. this series of games was. You'll be happy to know he actually was born in Seoul, and his name is pronounced Young Hue. So uh, it's Young Ho. <laughs> You're damn right, it's Young Ho. All right. Yeah, uh, Green Bay, Tampa Bay. This game was oh, god awful. I I didn't watch. I didn't even watch this. Like I stopped. I was. I just didn't give a shit. I I mean, I saw the bit that was on Red Zone. Was this the worst but game I mean, Tom Brady's ever played? No, that would be a game against the Saints last year. Oh, ouch! Just, but okay. Yeah, I mean, standardly, the Bucks have been really bad against the Saints in the regular season. Sure. So. But I think last year was literally one of his worst games ever against the yeah. Saints. No, I mean, so Bucks have none of their main wide receivers in there. Right. Hurt or suspended. So wasn't expecting a lot from the offense there. Hmm. I mean, the Packers came out and scored on their first two drives. I was expecting a bit more out of them, but that's apparently all they could do for the day. Mm-hmm. And we almost had a bit of excitement at the end when the Bucks came back. Yeah. 14 seconds left, scored a touchdown. Fail the two point conversion. You hate yeah. to see it. Because would have loved to have some free football as a bit of excitement. Sure, sure. I don't think we had a single overtime period in NFL this weekend. Uh, we did not. Wow. Which, I mean, outside of this game being boring as shit, one of the things to come out of it was Rogers bitching in a post game interview. Oh, that God. The refs weren't calling stuff properly. And like, that's just like a off, recurring. Dude. Yeah, that's just a recurring theme this season. Like, Listen, Rogers is just Rogers bitch is mode. A bitch. Yeah. Oh, I, I mentioned this in the Discord, though. It was very based. He got uh, sacked, I think, in the third or fourth. No, I think it was the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. Guy fucking sacked him and immediately got up and started signing the cross. I was like, ba- based. Extremely based. 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 Yeah, you love to see that. It's fucking cringe I mean, ass atheist shit. The media loves to ride Rodgers. And listen, he's a regular season stat patter. Yeah. I'll say it. I don't give sure. a fuck. No. The guys won one Super Bowl carried uh, by the yeah. defense. Yeah. And has choked in the postseason ever since. Yeah. Uh, you're spitting, dude. Spitting. And honestly, I love Tom Brady. Yeah, he's all right. But I think it's time for us to move on from the old quarterbacks. It's clearly, yeah, a, and his, it's like, clearly the young guy's league now. And with like his personal life now in shambles, I see like it's right. he needs he needs to go home and literally he does. He order. needs to. I don't like to see such the gr- the great man that is Tom Brady fall apart. I don't want yeah. to see that happen. Yeah, I, want, no, I, just, I, I need him to stop playing football. We're getting into that like that era of like you know like old like television stars who get to the point and it's like you know in their prime like you know they were the shit you know everyone loved them and now they're just like at like sad conventions and like schenectady signing autographs for four dollars like tom right. brady is rapidly approaching that point i mean i still i still expect brady to make the playoffs this oh, season 100 yeah there i i mean i i don't want to say this because i know it's gonna bite me in the ass 
like 18 weeks from now, but mm. I don't think they're going to win a Super Bowl. But trends okay. do say every other year Tom Brady wins a fucking Super Bowl. So That's true, so... And there's a lot of talent on that team, so if they can stop, you know, raping there people is. or whatever they're doing, I don't actually know why they're suspended, but... Uh, you, that was the fight last week against oh, the okay. Saints. You know, oh. when Evans... Oh, yeah, Mike Evans. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Mike Evans. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think their defense is pretty good. Mm -hmm. They get Julio Jones back. They get Chris Godwin back. They get Mike Evans back. Mm. They'll go on offense. Maybe we see a late season Gronk return if they're actually making a run. <laughs> That'd be about right. I thought I wouldn't mind to see it though. That'd be very on yeah, brand for listen, Gronk. I'm a big Gronk fan. Oh, say love him. He's a great guy. Listen, best tight end of all time. I'll say. Ah, uh, and I wouldn't disagree. Uh, but yeah, this game very boring except for an almost exciting end. Yeah. But you know the media is going to slobber Rogers where which. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of not interesting in literally any single way. Oh, this no, I don't. Niners Broncos was so uh, bad. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm just depressed. Think. Uh, I just, uh, listen, we'll just we'll keep it short. I literally turned this game off to go watch Pomo. These teams suck. Yeah. <laughs> These are so like, bad. It's so bad. Jimmy G, I don't know. I he's Jimmy G is not great. I know why the Niners want to move on from him, but yeah, Trey Lance is not the answer. Either. No, 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 no. Mac Jones was the answer, but whatever. Yeah, and then they get somehow got like finessed, probably by Belichick somehow, and hundred percent, yeah, going for Trey Lance. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Belichick's still fucking laughing about that one. Oh God, it's Jimmy G. Step, no, just you, you got this. You go. You got to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which I mean, Russell Wilson looks like shit, which yeah. kind of hate to see because, I mean, the one iconic thing about Russ in Seattle was his deep ball to their receivers there. And I don't think we've seen that at all well, in I, three games. With the yeah, I mean, I don't think he unleashed the dragon once this game. Not once. No, I, I don't think he has at all in any of the games. And that's a problem. No. Yeah, because that's when that's Russ is thing. entertaining. Yeah. Which I think uh, Chris Collinsworth said it best. Like he's one of the best deep ball throwers in the league. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're, that's that's all we're gonna say about that game because it yeah. fucking sucks. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna pr try and pretend that game didn't happen. Uh, but yeah, next week or tomorrow. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys at New York. Dude, the New this York is Football good. This Giants, is a good which are, one I think it is. And now Dallas does have a backup quarterback in, but we take those. We take the wins when we can. And the Giants are going for three and zero here. And goddamn, I hope they get it. A lot of a lot of injuries on both sides, though. Micah Parsons is still questionable. Yeah, which that's bit that's rough for the Cowboys. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the outs for the Giants, there's no one of note. Cave on Thibodeau. I mean, Leonard, oh, of the outs. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I mean, unfor Leonard Williams being doubtful sucks because he's very good at football. Yeah. And Cave on Thibodeau, he got hurt either first game or last preseason game, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. he, that, that guy's a weird dude. He's real into crypto, I think. <laughs> oh, no, you hate to hear that. Like, he, but he does look... No, I, he looks like a dude that's into crypto. Like, if I recall from the draft talk, like, if it wasn't for him being weird and talking about crypto and stuff in, like, his interviews and stuff for the draft, like, this dude was supposed to go number one, number two, number three. Oh, Instead was this... he fell to the Giants. Yeah, I remember this now. That Yeah, he, he like... Uh, I, I was trying to remember what the story was. Let's see. Launches j -Ream. Oh, he has his own cryptocurrency? What? Yeah, like... He had a, apparently has a very weird confidence about himself that apparently is off-putting, and that's why he dropped a bit in the draft. Ah, yeah. Many such cases. Huh. Which, uh, I don't know. I'd like to see him do well. And he, listen, if you're an NFL millionaire, you can do whatever weird shit. Sure, 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 money. sure. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. So yeah, a win to keep the Giants undefeated would be great. That would put them with the Dolphins and the Eagles as the undefeated teams. <laughs> three weeks 
which I mean, honestly, I think the Eagles can keep their undefeated title for a while because mm-hmm. they have a joke of a schedule. Although yeah, they well. do run into the Jags next week, and mm. listen, the, the Jags could do it. I, I can't doubt the Jags three weeks into this one. Well, speaking of next week, we actually have. Some, I'm looking at it now. There's some interesting matchups next week. Oh yeah, Miami one, Bengals. Yeah, I was gonna say one on Thursday night. In fact, yeah, that'll, that'll be a hopefully good game. Although I do think that Burrow is just going to get deleted by Miami's defense. Yeah. So that's unfortunately, I think, I think you're right. And then we got our first overseas game. Yeah. <laughs> Vikings or saints. This game is going to suck, but I don't want to talk about that morning football on a I'm Sunday. Not wa- I'm, not love waking to see. Up. I'm not waking up for it. Uh, I mean, I'll be awake cause I'm watching it. I mean, all right. I see Patriots Packers. That all really kind of depends on where Mac Jones is at. Yeah. Chiefs Bucks. Oh, now that's going to be an that, interesting one. That will be. And I think and, that also depends pretty heavily on where the Bucks receivers are at. Right. And that's uh, Sunday Night Football, too. Oh, thank Jesus. We're going to have an interesting Sunday Night Football. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Bills Ravens. That's a good mm-hmm. matchup to watch. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It should be high scoring. Yeah. So yeah, a few good matchups. A few good matchups. I like yeah. That. I like uh, I like Bears at New York. If New York beats the Cowboys. They should beat the Bears as well. Yeah. Yeah. Looking looking for a uh, looking for a good week next week, both in college and NFL. But if we've learned anything so far, it's uh, well. Who the fuck knows, man? Who the fuck knows. Who the fuck knows? Did not see. Miami and the Eagles currently being the only two undefeated teams. So Yeah, the the Chiefs losing the Colts was insane. Yeah, no, that's fuck. It's just a chaos here, man. I you you can't control them when they happen. You just enjoy the ride and hope it doesn't affect your team too badly, which yeah, so, they say any given Sunday and so damn far. is that true. All right, well, that was fun. Um that's all I got. You got anything else? Uh, that's all I can remember right now. Mm. All right. Well, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. If you're listening on uh, podcast or VOD, appreciate it a lot. Uh, we will see you next week. Same place on Twitch TV slash the beefiest boys, 11 central time on Sunday night. Where talk a little football with my buddy here. I'll have to do it. I'll have to do it. All right. Say goodbye, suck. Goodbye.